I'm just gonna start by clipping back my hair. I like to use these pins because they don't leave like a crease in my hair. Let's get into it. I'm gonna try to be as detailed as possible with not talking your ear off. I have this problem where I like to talk a lot. So I'm gonna try to make this as informative but like fun as possible. If you guys have seen any of my TikToks, I pretty much do the same makeup routine every single day but I feel like sometimes my steps can get lost in translation. So, yeah. I always start by doing brows, kind of. I don't know, I hate doing my eyebrows. I'm just gonna brush them up. I use this Anastasia brow pencil. It's like literally on its last limbs. I kind of shape my brows when I like tweeze them. So it's not like too much work when I have to fill them in. I actually feel like I have like a good shape and like good eyebrow like I like my brows it's the problem is that they're so light and like fine so you can't even really like tell I have good eyebrows because they're just so light I was like the one Latin gene I didn't get okay. kind of just do something like that I'm do the same to the other side in advance that the lighting is not super good in here and like trying out a few different lighting systems or systems just like a few different like lighting equipment but I mean nothing will just be natural light I just ordered a chair for my vanity so vanity makeup videos will be back soon on TikTok I think honestly if I just had natural lighting in my bathroom I would always film and do my makeup in the bathroom because there's just something about getting ready in the bathroom that's just an experience. I'm gonna leave my brows a little bit something like that. And I have two brow products that I like to use. This was, if you guys watch any of my videos on TikTok, is pretty much what I use every day. It is a 24 hour brow setter. Can't even see, it's like wiped. From Benefit. I love following along Ken's Nation videos on TikTok and she did a video with them and she used the fluff up brow wax from Benefit so I literally went to Sephora and bought it and I actually think I like this. I like how the spoolie's really thin but my usually my issue with these types of products is that the white cast like is really like showing on my hairs but this one is not and I literally just kind of like to brush up my brows. And then I'll just kind of press them down with my fingers. I mean, I know some people don't like the laminated brow look, but I think it's kind of just like a feathered. <laughs> I don't know. Brows are done. Now let's move on to skin. My favorite part. So I already have skincare and I do my skincare like right when I wake up in the morning before I like have breakfast. I like to just get my skincare out of the way, but I'm gonna do like my skin prep for makeup, which is a little bit different. I really am into this Murad um, SPF because it leaves like an insane glow, but it's also part of just like my skincare. But I save this part until right before I do my makeup because you'll see. It leaves this like insane glow that I love and it's SPF so it's literally like not marketed as like a glowing thing it's just SPF but it leaves a crazy glow that I love it and the next iconic London blurring primer 
you've seen any of my TikToks, you already know the vibe. Isn't the drop just so satisfying? I'm gonna bring it a little bit underneath because I do put makeup like on my neck. So I love this primer because it feels and it goes on like a serum, but I can really feel like that blurring, poreless vibe that it's giving to my skin before I put any makeup on. So that is what I do to prep my skin for makeup. Let's move on to the base. One of the top questions I get asked is like, what do I use for my skin? Favorite foundations, favorite skin tints. So I'm gonna kind of break it down really quickly for you guys. So Summer Fridays Sheer Tint, Sheer Skin Tint. I got it last summer and I still use it all the time. It's a very, very light coverage, but I like that. I don't have too much um, like acne or scarring or any discoloration. I mean, I do have a little bit, but it's not like you know, I don't love full coverage, but I honestly still think like if you had like blemishes or freckles, like this would be really cute because it just shows like your skin, like it's not like too much makeup on top. Right now I'm currently still testing out the Makeup by Mario foundation. I do like it. It's not as glowy as I would want it to be, honestly. And some people I know are breaking out from it. I haven't broke out, but I know I'm still trying it. And then if I'm going to wear foundation, it's probably going to be the House Labs foundation. I really do like this foundation. This is kind of like a your skin but better with coverage. So if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend this one. And it has active skincare ingredients, so I really like that as well in the formula. But today, what am I going to go in? I think I'm going to do Summer Fridays. <laughs> and then I wear shade 5. These colors are supposed to be like really flexible too. Like I had this in the summer and it worked for me. And now I'm obviously way paler and it still works for me. And I can't really say that for like most foundations and concealers. Like I have to buy new ones, but this one's pretty flexible. For my base, I like to use this brush. Um, it's from the Makeup by, Mar no, Makeup by Ariel X Morphe. And I kind of just like to use this brush to like spread everything around. It's giving peanut butter baby right now. <laughs> Just gonna take my beauty blender and then just kind of press that into my skin. And I feel like it just gives like a really pretty, like healthy, glowy complexion. And it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin. Glowing! Now for concealer, they have literally held me in a chokehold it is the long comb all over concealer i have two different shades i have a darker one that's in the shade bis neutral oh it's in the shade 420 um and this one's darker and i kind of use this to, like spot conceal they don't want to wear um like a full base and then this is my lighter shade in the shade 360 and i'm just going to go in with this concealer I kind of just like to put a little bit of my inner corner and then right here to lift and then underneath my cheekbone to like kind of carve and then i used to only like to use a brush to blend out my concealer but i can't find that brush anymore so i'm going to go in back in with the beauty sponge and then lightly just press in and i don't want to bring my concealer too close to the top of my line my, the top of my bottom lashes like under eye because I'll just crease really bad if I put a lot of product there. So I kind of just like to make it really thin and then blend up, if that makes any sense. Like I know some people will literally put concealer like right here, but I just can't do that. Like I'll blend it out here and then bring it up once the product's like a little bit thinner. And then I like to do this part because as you can see, I have a pretty round face. And I do have cheekbones, they're just hiding. And if I do like my model face, where I kind of like bite like my inner cheeks, 
It like really cuts. Moving on to bronzer. I have a few favorites. So obviously Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I'm out of mine so I haven't repurchased it but that is a go-to for me. And then as of recently I've been using this Dibs Desert Duo. I have the shade 5.5. This bronzer is really, really creamy and the pigment and coverage is insane. It also has a blush on the other side, which is really pretty. Um, but I, I just love the formula of their bronzers. But I've also been really into this Merit bronzer balm. This one is on the natural side. This packaging is also really pretty. I do like the shape too. I feel like it really like, I feel like it really helps get in there. I think I'm going to use this one today because I'm going for my everyday natural glam. I feel like when I'm a little bit more like I'm going to go out, I'm going to a concert, I'm going to dinner, I gravitate towards the dibs one because the pigment is much like, you know, it's like a lot more like pop. But today is a natural glam, so I'm going to use the Merit Bronzer Balm. I'm just going to go right in. A little on the forehead. I don't really have a forehead. And then I kind of like to contour my nose a little bit on the sides. Get that jawline. Just blends out like you're not even doing any work, honestly. And it just has like, again, like that balmy, glowy finish so it's not matte. You'll soon realize that I don't like to be matte. Favorite part is blush, and I have a lot of different favorite blushes right now. It's like insane. My most recent favorite is by P. Louise. Wait, should you see this color? The cutest little, truly baby doll pink blush that I have. I always will go back to Rare Beauty in the shade Happy. As you guys know, but you can see the difference here. And like, this is like very bubblegum, and this one, this was hot pink next to this but at the time like when i first got this i was like omg baby doll i also really really like this nars blush it's a lot more of a natural shade but it's really really pretty it's in the shade behave and then another classic is my say beauty blush in the shade dreamy i really really love this color and then another favorite of mine is this duo by fenty it was limited edition. I got it during the holidays. It's their double cheaped up palette. So cute. Like this one's really pinky and this one's like kind of like strawberry-y. I really like this one a lot. What am I feeling today? I think I'm feeling... I think I'm feeling P. Louise. Okay, just gonna squeeze. If that's not a pink blush, I don't know what is. Okay, now I really, like again, I like to use the Makeup by Oriel Morphe brushes. I also do think this blending brush from e.l.f. is really good. As you can see, it leaves like a really, really natural, like healthy, pink to the skin glow, which I really like. I'm gonna go on with a little bit more, right on the apples. Like you can see it's very like light to buildable, which is always my vibe. I like to focus it in the center and then just like kind of blend up. You'll know when you start to play with makeup more like what works for your face, like obviously, um, on TikTok, it's like really like trending to like put your like everything like right here and kind of lift it But if you have a really round face, that's not really gonna do anything for you So it's all about like finding what works For you and like how you like to apply your makeup just to kind of make you you know Feel more confident not every trend of makeup do you need to hop on because it's not really gonna be relevant to Every person okay now for powder 
you guys know I'm a Givenchy Prisme Libre powder stan, but I left it out in my bathroom and my brother took a shower in my bathroom. So like the powder is like all like crumbly. It's not the same. I'm just gonna take this really big fluffy brush from my makeup by Ariel X Morphe brushes. And I'm just kind of like tap everywhere. And then I'm going to take a little powder puff like this. I'm gonna kind of press that right underneath my under eyes. I'm gonna set my blush with the powder blush. Um, again, I have a lot of favorites, but I really love the Charlotte Tilbury powder blush in the shade Love is the Drug. So, so pretty. I always find myself going back to that. And then this is not really a blush, but I use it as a blush kind of like topper. And it's from Fenty Beauty in the shade Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. This color is so gorge. I don't think I'm wearing the right base to wear this one. I think if I was wearing, um, like a more deeper berry blush, I would use this, but since I'm not. And then I also am like obsessed with this palette. It's from Patrick Ta. I'm obsessed with this Patrick Ta palette. Um, it's so gorgeous. I mean, look at this blush. I, I'm obsessed. And I'm also obsessed with this NARS palette. Look at this shade. You can see my entire setup at this shade so gorgeous going in with charlotte tilbury love is the drug i have a heavy hand when it comes to blush so don't mind that in this lighting i'm kind of like i feel like the blush is giving like street clown i don't know like what it'll look like when i watch it back but right now it's, it looks a little bit weird on camera but trust it's cute in person I have so many new favorites. So it was actually probably a good idea that I did this video because it's been long awaited. Highlight is next. And I'm really into the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. It's so gorge. But I'm also really into the Rare Beauty highlighter. They kind of offer a little bit of different finishes and have different payoffs. So it's kind of cool to compare, but I'll show you guys. So this is one that I usually wear. It's in the shade Exhilarate. It's kind of like that champagne-y color. And this is um, in the shade Pillow Talk Glow. So it's more pinky, but Rare Beauty does have a pinky one. I would say this one is more like pigmented highlight. Really, really pretty. And it has like a really pretty sheen to it. This one I would say is like more like giving wet glass skin. And I like to go kind of bananas on my nose. I love nose highlight. I'm gonna put some right here. Like this one, I almost feel like I need to like build it up a little bit more, which I like. Really, really pretty. Okay, and this is kind of my hack to kind of bringing back that glow back to my face and really making my makeup set and not move all day is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and it literally has to be the setting spray. I've tried this makeup with like different setting sprays and like and it works, but I just feel like nothing hits like this setting spray. So I'm just gonna literally drown myself. And I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender that I've been using and really just like press it into my skin. I feel like you can already see I'm like getting that hydrated glow back. We're not looking too powdery. Cute. I'm really excited to start like being back on YouTube. I don't know. Well, actually I do know why I wasn't on YouTube. Editing is just like a little B-I-T-C-H for me sometimes. Like I just get in these like moods where I just don't want to edit. Because YouTube videos take like a lot longer to edit than like TikTok videos. So I just get in this funk. But I... I had, a man I had a meeting today with my managers and they're like, Caitlin, you need to get back on YouTube. Like, I feel like everyone, obviously not everyone, but like, I feel like people want you back on YouTube and you know, like the vibes just, you know, like, are like good on YouTube. Like you need to go back on there. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Like I do want to be on YouTube. I'm just being a little lazy. So I need to not do that. Okay. 
Slayville. I really am lazy with my eyes. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just gonna put powder on my eyes, like the same powder we used, just so they're not like greasy. Sometimes I'll put like extra concealer on my eyelids if I know I'm like gonna be out for a while and I need like the coverage. I just snapped my nail. I need the coverage, but I'm lazy today. So I have two, I have a few eyeshadow palettes that I like. I have two from Dips Beauty that I'm really, really into. This one is, no! So that just happened. <laughs> uh, I like that color. Okay, anyways, the two eyeshadow palettes I'm really into are from Dits Beauty. This is their Rose in Hand palette, and this is their Coffee in Hand palette. I mean, you can tell, like, this has the pinky mauve tones, and this has, like, the brown neutrals. Obviously, I actually was really using this one for a long time because I think these kind of tones really bring out brown eyes, dare I say. But now I'm just going to just use the brown one. And then just like softly like bronze my crease and these are so pigmented next which is another question that you guys are always asking about is how do i do my winged eyeliner and today this is ablin's tutorial on a baby wing i like to use the rare beauty eyeliner i am running low on it like i can tell the ink is drying out on me so we're gonna have to act quick okay i literally like to start by kind of just like flicking <laughs> flicking out a really really thin wing or line and then i just connect it and then i kind of like to bring it to like half my eye i don't like to bring it all the way in i think the black liner all the way in is a little bit too harsh for my eye shape Oh no, I'm messing up mega. You guys are making me nervous. Okay, well, now I can show you guys how I fix a nasty wing. I'll just use this square angled brush and a little, like a tiny bit of concealer, typically one that's like the same color as your skin. I don't want it to be too sharp. I mean, I don't want it to be too like long. Yes, that is the wing. We'll do it on this side too. I think the wing is done. Now I'm just gonna move on to like my curl and my lashes and stuff like that. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I had like a week leave of absence on the app because I was down bad. I had to go to the hospital a couple weeks ago. My sister like took me because I like literally fainted and collapsed on the floor because um, I was having this insane like stomach pain. Like I've never felt anything like it before. And I honestly feel like I have a pretty pain, high pain tolerance, but I couldn't take the pain. So, long story short, I have to get my gallbladder removed because I guess my gallbladder is really messed up. And I have a doctor's appointment coming up soon to kind of talk about the next steps and like surgery and stuff like that. But I really changed my diet like completely. And it's interesting changing a diet for like okay like i want to get healthy you know like i want to like lose weight like summer's coming up like i feel like i've always had that kind of a mentality when it comes to like you know dieting and like eating healthy um and i feel like everyone has that kind of uh mindset too around like the beginning of the year because you know everyone's like oh i gotta start working out this year i want to get healthy but it's like different when like i literally cannot eat foods because i like could get i could go back to the hospital if i eat them type 5 as opposed to like oh i'm just trying to like be 
restrictive and like not eat that but i literally cannot eat certain foods anymore because i will like have another attack and i could go to the hospital again and it's like been such a huge adjustment i feel like i really didn't know what that would be like and I, didn't, I really didn't know like how that would take a toll on me mentally and physically I feel like for two weeks I felt like, so uncomfortable and out of my body I felt really bloated and I was like this is so frustrating like why am I bloated like I'm eating very clean I can't eat anything that's been extreme can't eat anything that's like really processed so no processed food no fried food no foods high in sugar no coffee really no alcohol really and I did I feel like I didn't eat that bad beforehand like obviously I had days where I kind of just like ate whatever But for the most part like I feel like I ate a lot of fruits and veggies I drink a lot of water, but you know, I would occasionally have drinks I would have coffee every often I would have like chips when I was feeling snacky I would have like a cheeseburger, you know, whenever I wanted to it's just been like Completely like different of like a diet change my, my basically my diet is like whole foods only like bread it, tons of vegetables tons of fruits but i feel like now this is going on so long but i feel like now my body is like you know it's understanding like this is what we're eating now this is what we're doing like for breakfast it's always like tons of fruits and some oatmeal for lunch i like to do like a heavy heavy like veggie with like a uh, pretty much a plain chicken like i can't even really like i can't put on the frying pan because it's frying i have too much oil um so just like plain chicken we'll do some ground rice or salads it's been a little bit difficult like eating out because not everything on the menu like i can eat and if i do eat it like i'm just like kind of taking the risk and i do kind of feel a little bit of that stomach pain when i eat certain foods out but i didn't realize like what kind of a toll this would take on my body but i've been feeling so much stronger and better um and i'm excited to like kind of like just get back into like feeling like me again i feel like that's why my content was so off and i feel like it was showing in my videos because people were commenting like oh my god like you look so sad you look so sick and i was like omg like i did not know it was like coming across in the videos so hopefully i'm like you know i'm looking stronger and better but i wanted to update you guys on that and now i'm just gonna now i'm just gonna go in with my mascara i've been using this one from lancome but they literally have put me onto so many products and i feel like I just was not woke. Like their mascara literally rocks, which is what I'm using right now. Like it just, I love this like curved mascara. And then the concealer that I was using was from Lancome. Like they just put me on. I like to work with brands that, you know, I feel like I could align with and that I genuinely like their products. I mean, look at that mascara have difference. Obviously I got mascara on my eyelid. I'm just like, I always do that, I don't know why. Alright, I have a nail appointment that I need to get to, so we are going to finish up this look, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to finish off the look with some lippies. I don't have all my favorites with me, I don't think. So we're going to make do with what I got here. They're all still really good, trust go-to lip liner of mine is the charlotte tilbury in the shade boxy brown i also love the rare beauty in the shade gifted but it's in my purse and i don't want to grab it but those are my two go-to's i also like the makeup forever and versatile chestnut but they don't make this one anymore so that's why i didn't want to show it to you guys but this very 90s lip liner i'm gonna go in with the makeup forever like liquid lipstick in the shade uh immortal rosewood wow that was really small i could not see that i really love this applicator it's so cool i'm just gonna go in favorites but to cut us to save us some time 
if I could find it. I really like the Hourglass Plumping Lip Gloss and I have the shade Slip. But I also really like the Road um, Peptide Lip Treatment. It's just so glossy. I'm actually gonna layer another lip. Did you guys know that Marilyn Monroe you should like layer like five different lipsticks to get the perfect red. So I'm gonna layer to get my perfect nude. I, I really have to go, but this is my final makeup look. I hope you guys liked it and more videos coming soon. Leave comments down below what videos you want me to make.